He's a great player. I think he's uh, originally from Peru. Really? Well, now that I would have never guessed in a gazillion years. We want to really thank, give a big thanks to Marie Lim for gathering all that information for us. Uh, and by the way, uh, thank you all so much for joining us here today at the Swanee, uh, put on by CSI International and uh, hosted by Hard Times Billiards owner, Eddie Reglin, who has put up the additional $4,000 for this event. Um, hats off to all of them. And this is a terrific event. We're gonna be streaming all day today and tonight, and again tomorrow and tomorrow night. Uh, this is POV, Point of View Pool. We appreciate any and all donations. If you'd like to like our stream and would like to donate, just go to povpool.com and click on the donate button. Be happy to have anything, we appreciate it. All right, let's see what we got going here. They're gonna be warming up. And we certainly wanna give a big thanks here to Frank Barba, who's been in the, in the booth for quite some time, giving us the expertise. So, we this really should be, appreciate. This should be a real good match. This yes, is, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Efren and Manny. Now, so you're saying he's from originally from Peru. From Peru. Well, I don't know how long he's been here, but that's yeah, originally well, that. But still, you know, I'm glad to hear that the Brandon, the young, the young kid, uh, is still on the winner side. You know, he's a good. Uh, He's an up-and-coming player. Isn't that amazing? I've, it's been maybe a year that I've, I haven't seen him, and he looks like he's grown a foot. I know. No, he's grown two feet. <laughs> okay, Daniel, they were all clipped to the side of my purse. So when you unclipped it, they dropped. You might want to bring me the purse or look inside the purse. Well, it's almost time for, for me to get some more hot streaming coffee. Frank, would you like anything? Oh, no, thank you. I'm fine. Or? No, I'm thank you. I'm, uh, I'm fine. All right. Well, this table one will be interesting uh, to watch Efren play it. I'll be very interested in seeing that. And both of them. So Efren. it looks like we're going to get started here momentarily. Efren says he's ready. Oh, Efren didn't even warm up now, did no he? No warm up. How about that? Uh, he's been warming up for about 40 years. Yeah, yeah. Now, how do you think that messes with the mind of the opponent? Nah, I don't <laughs> need any warm up. <laughs> I'll just get. I'll just, I'll just start shooting. How's that? Oh boy. Yep, that's that's pretty strong. I got to tell you. like to uh, mention our sponsor is Kamui Tips. Oh, good tips. Absolutely. Good I have tips. both of my shafts have Kamui Tips on them. You use the, uh, the medium or the soft? Or? Uh, I use the medium. That's the, but these are my first uh, Kamui Tips and I decided to just go with a I I like a the, medium. the soft. The soft seems to be more like a medium of others. Well, maybe I'll maybe I'll try uh, maybe I'll try the soft next time. I just recently put got them put on, so Oh, and so like far, you'll I you'll really like, like them. Yes, like I really love the way that they're hitting. Also, pool tracks. Uh, Don Espinosa of, of pool tracks um, is providing us with. Uh, let me see if I can get his uh, information up here for you. www.pool-tracks.net and you can get all of the statistics on all of the uh, streaming oh, players today up to the minute. Good to know. And uh, we call him Statman.
All right, Efren's at the table. He's working his magic already. Boy, I'll say. You know, what a stroke he has, really. And he's such a nice guy. Great player. <laughs> you know, I don't think he's ever done any other job other than play pool, has he? I think he's played pool his entire life. I don't think he needs to. <laughs> Well, no, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, that's. But I mean, just from a historical. No, I don't. I, I can't recall him doing. Anything. I don't think he's I ever mean, done anything I mean, else. What can you picture him doing other than playing pool? You know. Now I see he's sporting some. Uh, he, he's got a little beard thing going on here. You know. Wow. I'll tell maybe you. he's trying to disguise himself. No, maybe. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want to. Maybe he wants to be able to go into a hall and get some extra. <laughs> he maybe he wants to be Cesar Morales again. Oh, boy. Okay, now this is terrific. L.A. Slim from our audience here says that Efren ran a rack before the doctor congratulated his mom on her baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Okay, that's great. Gotta love the chat room. Gotta love it. Also wanna give a big thanks to Spanky. He's a regular viewer of our stream, was in today for a long time and will probably be back helping us commentate. Big thank you. Okay, now this is what we're talking about. Weren't we just having this conversation? Yeah, well, you, you know what? I think what really caused that problem is he drew the ball that was in, hanging in the pocket, the eight ball. Yes. And I've never seen him shoot a shot that way. He normally would uh, just cut the ball in and bring the ball out, and he would have had a nice shot. But uh, wow. I, why he did that, I don't know. I, I don't not know. like him. I don't know either. Well, this is going to be very interesting. Look at this. Wow. Holy cow. And Manny made a nice well, shot, long distance. That was a, that, absolutely, and he was right on the rail. Kudos. This is going to be a match. Wow. Efren Reyes, zero. Manny Chow, one. And an unexpected turnaround at the end of a well-run rack. I was really surprised that he played the eight ball like he did with, uh, with draw. Well, maybe he was just loosening up, you know. I don't know. Well, uh, that's not like him. I know. I'm, I'm just, just trying to find a reason for it. I'm grasping. All right, here comes the break. Wing ball flies into that upper right-hand corner pocket. And he's got a shot. Yes, he does. That's not ideal, though, because that three ball is keeping him from moving the cue ball. Yes, it is. It's, uh, it's going to be a little dicey on this first yeah, shot here. Yeah, because he has to cut the ball, and so worry how he hits a three is going to be important. The two ball has got both corner pockets, but he's going to have to beat that seven ball first. Was well, he going to even be able to get around that three? Well, that's the problem. I don't, I don't know that he can. And if he hits the three on the wrong side, then he's got a lot of problems. Okay. Well, that worked. I think he's got enough of the two. I think he does. He's going to check it out. Yeah, he might come at the three, two rails to go around the seven ball. Yes. Is he going to get there? Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty darn good. Well, Frank, you were certainly right. You know, I haven't seen Manny here play. Or if I have, I've forgotten, it, you know. He's a very, very good player. But uh, this is going to be a really exciting match. Boy, 
both of these guys have got got a lot of game. He wound up that just was a, a little bit short. Yeah, just a little, a little short. bit short. Yeah, he's going to have some work to do now. And this is one of those shots that is hard to, to, to go up and come back with the red circle. Oh, the, yeah. The measle ball, you can power that ball, and it'll go out there and come back. I love the measle ball. I don't know about you, but I love I playing. Like oh, I, like I love the measle like ball. It. Not everybody does. I'm used to playing it because most of the tournaments that I play in, they, they use the measle ball, So, and I have one at home, and I'm just used to it. And it's very different than the, than the others. He did it real well. Yeah, that was a great shot. Perfect. Basically, this is the game-winning shot here on the seven because the eight and nine, once he gets the eight ball fairly straight, then the nine ball is just automatic from there. Exactly. Well, he's pretty well made mincemeat so far of this rack. Well, he have to go. He has to go across the table. I'm sure he didn't want to have to do yeah, that. Yeah, he came out. He came out too far. Oh no! Maybe he not. Didn't. He held it. Yeah. Nice shot. Boy. Well, this is a. Wow! Wow! Quite a turnaround from Efren uh, missing that nine ball. You're not a kidding, because he Efren went through that first rack just like, like it was nothing, like butter. And then there went the nine, bobbling. All right, Efren Reyes needs to get on the wire here. Manny Chow's up two, in a race to seven, which is a relatively short race in nine ball. Wow. Well, this is exciting, Frank. And this they're, is uh, well, well, you know, they're not showing how tough this table is. Oh, yeah. Well, and that, I've got to reiterate uh, for those of you out in the audience, you know, I play here at hard times all the time as, as well as many of these players here today do. Uh, this table one is killer. It is called the devil table. It has a particular devil pocket to it on that upper left-hand corner. It's four-inch pockets. has four-inch pockets. Four-inch pockets. And it's, uh, it's brutal. You cannot take any shot for granted on this table. Or you get down on a shot, you see it, and then maybe the, the ball is two, three feet away from the pocket. You start thinking how tight that pocket is, and you know, you're, it consumes your oh, mind. Oh, yeah. And things that you shouldn't be thinking about. That's, that's right. Yeah, you shouldn't be thinking about anything other than seeing the pocket, uh, the ball go into the pocket. Okay, so uh, the stat man, Don Espinosa from Pool Tracks is in the house here in the uh, chat room and he's given us, given everybody a link to go in and watch the latest statistics for this. Thank you so much, Don, you're awesome. All right, so Manny pushed out. To what? I don't know. To what? Not much. And I'm just wondering why Efren is even going to look at it. I, <laughs> I don't think know. Most people would just say shoot again. Absolutely. But he's trying to figure out what does Manny have in mind here if I give it back to him. I think he's going to kick at it from the short rail. Yep, he did give it back. Nope, but you know, but he wanted to see what the possibilities were. Absolutely. I, I would too. It in. Is he going to jump it or no, mass? He's mass saying. Yep. That was probably what Efren was hoping for. Well. All right. Well, that's a little close to your work, but uh, this is Efren we're talking about, so I'm sure that he'll, sure he'll figure it out. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell all the things that are going through his mind? Oh, I have a funny <laughs> one for you. <laughs> Daniel all the time is saying things like this. When Efren's down on the ball, he's probably thinking, I wonder if they have those tortillas down at that store. <laughs> 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 or something like that, right? <laughs> oh my God, he says it way funnier than I, and he comes up with all these funny things that he thinks are, is go probably going through <laughs> Efren's head, right? Oh my God, it just cracks me up. Shane Ackerland. Shane Ackerland. 
Hello to everybody that has joined the chat room here during the Swanee. Uh, okay. Swanee yeah. Memorial yeah. Nine Ball Tournament. Produced here by CSI International, that's Q Sports International. And the uh, live stream provided here by POV, Point of View Pool. Hosted by Eddie Aregwin at Hard Times Billiards here in Southern California, Bellflower. And Eddie from Hard Times has put in the additional $4,000 added to this event. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, CSI. And thanks so much to all of you out there watching us now. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having as much fun as we are. We have Frank Barba in the booth here. He won his uh, match on the stream table not too long ago. It was ugly, though. Well, you you had some <laughs> moments, that's for sure, you know, but, but you pulled it off at the end of the day, so. <laughs> no, someone at wanted to know if Earl the Pearl was here, Earl Strickland. No, he is he's not, not here. in the house. And believe me, we would have known it had he been in the house. I did see Bustamani, however. Francisco was out not too long ago outside. And Rodney Morris, Alex Pagalion, Louis Ulrich, Bo Runnigan, Bo Runnigan, Corey Harper, John Schmidt. John Schmidt. Oh, yeah, we just got, we got a house full today. For those that, that don't know, Hard Times Bellflower here is nicknamed the home of champions, and it certainly is. It's a great hall, it's a great venue, terrific owner, a real pool players hall. I love playing here. It, it dynamite here. It's fantastic. Dynamite. Fantastic. I wish I lived closer, I'd be here every day. I swear I would. I'm lucky I have a pool table at home, but you know nothing beats really coming to a hall and oh, yeah. playing no, with no, the, with yeah. everyone. Yeah. Like I was saying before, that this tournament has become more of a social event. I mean, it's a tournament with all good players, but it's a yearly event where everybody comes here just to see friends that they don't see all year. Oh, around. absolutely! You got the Dominguez's, Oscar and Ernesto. Two really, really great people. Love those guys. Max Eberly. I mean, there's just so many to name. I don't want to forget anybody. So commentating today uh, is well, Daniel Bush and Barbara Lee, that's us. Uh, we are POV pool. However, Daniel's on a break. So the barbecue, that would be me. Barbara Lee is here with Frank Barba, who has uh, graciously donated some of his time here to come and help commentate. We will have various commentators here throughout this event. Many people here that uh, we can bring into the booth who have volunteered to come in and uh, donate some of their time to this. So, Barbara, you barbecue them just like I do. I do. You know, <laughs> somebody in the chat room actually <laughs> named me Barbecue. Uh, that came up because we were having a discussion about uh, barbecuing, and I was talking about how I love to do that, and I do some killer tri-tip, and so one thing led to another. You know what I mean? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna step away and uh, enjoy being in the booth with you, Barbara. Oh, uh, terrific! You know, Frank, it's I been need, a pleasure. I need to go out and stretch my legs. Maybe get ready for my next match. Well, I think that's a great idea, and I thank you so much. Uh, come back anytime. You're welcome. Thank you. I enjoyed it. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay. Goodbye, Bye, all. Bye, Frank.
And PoolTracks.net is where you can go to get all of the latest statistics put on by Don Espinosa. We call him Statman. And this being brought to you by povpool.com, the event produced by CSI International and hosted by Hard Times Billiards owner, Eddie Arreguin. In the booth is joining me now. Well, maybe we should make everybody guess. <laughs> go girl, go. <laughs> wow, well, what hints could I give for people to guess who I am? I'm a female pool player, obviously, and Lasseter Luther, he's not female. <laughs> I won $20,000 on TV. You got that ball breakers and I didn't. I <laughs> threw mine away. <laughs> I'm not Robin Donson. I'm not Melissa. I played one, who's table mechanic? Because <laughs> you're right, it's Lisa. We have Lisa it's in the house. Lisa just the ball breaker queen. And I'm jealous because I was <laughs> supposed to be the ball breaker queen. <laughs> did you play on a show? I did. I b did on the premiere show, and I played against the cowboy, and I went into the final match the with cowboy. $18,000, and he came back to beat me. Ah. Do you have it videotaped? I do. It's like, it's like a, it's it's like pool documented in history, it right? Was like, well, they called it pool on steroids, and <laughs> it was a game show, and, a, and a, a bunch of us locals here actually got made it onto the show, and uh, I got to tell you what a fun day that was. That that was, was some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. It I was felt fair. like I felt like a rock star for the day. Are you yeah. kidding me? I had my own dressing room. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it was terrific. <laughs> okay, we got it. We're getting in trouble. Yeah, we're, t we're supposed to commentate and talk about the match. Okay, so I'll tell you what, I'm being booted off the stream here. <laughs> Daniel is um, telling me. Oh, that's good. Me I'll commentate with June. Daniel t is telling me that June Almonte? Yeah. Admoat. Almoat, not so Almonte. On so on the match, it looks like okay, we sorry. have Manny Chow and Efren Reyes, and the current score is two to one Manny. So Manny just attempted that two ball shot. Uh, it's a little All jacked right, so up. I'm going to sign off, guys. Have looks a good like one. Uh, I'll be back later. Sayonara. Take care of barbecue. Okay, it looks like uh, Efren's got a really tough shot on the two here. He's probably going to play safe. Efren's struggling a little bit today. I think this is a loser side match. Looks like a little bit of a safety battle. These are actually my favorite kind of matches. I learn so much when I see these safeties back and forth. This is where I think the real talent comes in. I once watched a tournament here at Hard Times with some local players and they went 21 shots back and forth on the one ball. It's like three cushion billiards masters. Yes, this is a loser side match. Um, I don't know the name of the guy, that it, but I'll find out for you. Who, who, did, who did Efren play his first round? Do you know? Yeah, yeah, we'll find out who that was. This is a loser side match, right? Oh, how about that shot, folks? Did Efren lost that match? The first I, think so. I, I think he did. That's what I think, but we can double check. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it's Lisa. I just Melissa Herndon. <laughs> Lisa, just my friend. Hey, June. How welcome to you? the booth. How are you? I'm good. Okay. 
the whole Philippines should be watching now. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> it's what time is there? Like it's seven in the morning. Almost eight. The score eight, is eight two to one, Manny. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be great. I, I'm sorry. I'm. I, it's a winner's side match, June. Yeah. I thought it was a, okay. June's corrected me. It is a winner's side match. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, Efren just got back from Louisville, Kentucky, right, where he got fourth place in the one pocket tournament. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe Shane Van Boeing took first in that one pocket event. Yeah. Here's Manny uh, pocketing the nine to make it three to one, Manny. Andy, where do we update the score on here? The score, where do we update that on here? Is that the, what's the score now? Three, three to two, right? Well, I don't know. Efren should be three, one. Yeah, Efren, Efren better wake up, <laughs> wake up here. <laughs> Today shot. we're using the uh, what's what type of rack is this? The magic rack. Yeah, the magic rack today at hard times. This is a magic rack event. Mm -hmm. Why are all pool players such perfectionists? Practice makes perfect. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. Well, yeah, Efren has been signing autographs since this morning, since last night. So he told me earlier that. Uh, already tired and for sure he's his game now is affected by that uh. well I noticed that that most of the Filipino players came in late today about 12 noon I don't think they came in until a little bit later today maybe they were out eating or something no they know that they're gonna start at to one o'clock or two o'clock their matches Okay, well, it looks like Manny's on the two ball. There's no problem balls. And uh, probably just going to pocket this. Some maybe center ball. Hit, hit the rail, come over. Mm -hmm. uh, probably it's almost straight shot. Yeah, a little bit straight. You yeah, he's thinking <laughs> just a stuffed up cue ball right there and then... Ano ang pangalan mo, announcer? June, June Almoite. Uh, player din ako, kasama nila Efren Reyes. He should be from the Philippines. Uh, <laughs> uwi kami dyan sa Philippines uh, Martes, February 7. We're going home to the Philippines with Efren. Oh, you are? Okay. I hear the weather is really, really hot there right now. Yeah, but once in a while, uh, it's rainy season now. Yeah. No, not yet. It's almost summertime. Oh, okay. Lots of practice combined with talent makes perfect. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'm all that talented of a player. Oh, Jaden. But uh, I practice hard. <laughs> Jaden is watching us. Hey, Ken, are, I thought you were in, in somewhere in the Bay Area. Ken. Ken, yeah. What's that? I don't know, posters. I know Jaden. Lots of practice combined with talent makes perfect. Say hi, That's Jaden. True. <laughs> hi, Jaden. <laughs> so it looks like Manny is poised to run out here. What do you think, June? It's pretty yeah. straight on this four ball, though. I've seen him kind of overstroke some shots. He can cheat to a get little bit on the four shot. To get, uh, you know, better shape. Mm-hmm. He's looking for I mean, a stop ball again. Yeah, floor. I think he just needs to make the shot, right? Just to have a shot at the seven. He's got a little yeah. bit of an angle. It's These pockets are pretty tough. It's though. not really straight. Look at it. Yeah, it's almost, almost straight. 
If you don't have talent, everybody has talent for something. This game just requires good eye-hand coordination and mechanics. Play checkers. Where are you right now, Ken? I hope you can hear me. Now, where do we update the score? It's 3-1. Uh, Yeah. You know how to do that now? Mm -mm. Yeah, I've known Manny Chow for many years. He's from Chicago. I used to play him a lot there when I was there, 1997. He hit the stream. Where's the stream? Oh. It's four to one, Manny Chow. Wake up, wake up. Right. <coughs> Score. Down four one. Yeah, it's 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 Okay, you go ahead. Okay, so the score is four to one, and Manny's breaking. Manny's got a really powerful break. Let's see what he can do. He really stays down on the ball. It's a great execution there. His cue ball traveled a bit, but uh, he really spreads the ball as well. You think he can see the two? No, no, no. No. Mm. I think the ideal break is, is you, you want to squat that cue ball, right? Stop mm -hmm. that cue ball and have those balls spread. I don't so know why, why if you're using the magic rack, the nine ball stays right there. You yeah, it seems to never get in the action, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. Seems like is the magic rack you consistently but you're right, the nine Except ball the nine. tends tends to not get in the action at all. It's rare to see a nine ball break. That's true. Yes, it's me. Yes, Ken, it's me. Hey, Ken, I'm playing next uh, Bob Lee's from Fresno. Uh, I got two wins already, and my next match would be Bob Lee's for, of Fresno. Curious to see what Manny's going to do with his two balls. He playing? Looks like he's getting jacked up and trying to play that off the rail. Are you? <laughs> oh, I couldn't get I've there all the way. To, who is this? Orange Cross? Who is this? June, where have you been? Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I I went to Fresno, Sacramento, and uh, and. Actually, I moved to Fresno last November, so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jun's a traveler. He's all over the place. Yeah. I think my match is going to be coming up soon here, I hope. Me too. I'm just waiting for a call. I hope I can win again. So, so our friend's hooked, and I always like to see when he takes a bit of a pause and he's hooked, this is where the magic begins. I always see something fantastic. Bring back the magic. The magician Bata, right? <laughs> it's getting old. Kaya pa yan, pare. Oh, I hope it's not a double hit. He's putting some a little bit of right on this. See, wow. Look at that. There you go. 
There you go. I pose first. Is that. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 what makes me uh, love to play this game. Keith McCready is not here. Boo. Is that Ray and Jim Hennessy in the background? Uh, I don't know. Ray and Jim? I don't know who those people are. If you're just tuning in, it's Efren Reyes and Manny Chow. The score is four to one. Yeah, Efren is trailing Manny. It's uh, four to one. Yeah. Looks like Efren's getting back on track here. Uh, he's got a bit of an angle, so I think he's uh, going to go two rails or something with this eight. Or three. <laughs> Hit that a little hard. Hey, Ken, what, what do you mean by that? If you hear them call my match, then you... Efren who? Efren Bata Reyes. Yeah, it's four two. Manny Chow four. Efren Reyes two. Yep. I want to give a shout out to um, Big Shots, the uh, Orange County South County Pool League. I play in them for BCA, and uh, this is a BCA sanctioned event, I guess. Efren using his Judd cue again. Looks like the Judd, doesn't it? Yeah, that's Judd. Yeah. Yes, he is. Oh, talking of cue, I want to greet first? My, my cue maker. Tell me Joey who you Bautista. are. <laughs> Joey, you might be watching right now. Joey Pare. Hey, no minsan, so I will better greet you now. Salamat po. Salamat po. <laughs> Maraming salamat po. Maraming sinigang. Wait, who? What is that? Who is speaking on the mic? This is Lisa Just. I am a local pool player here. I won the Ball Breaker Championship. Thousand dollars on TV. Played one W. Yeah, not money on TV. I did it while I was with cancer, but this match is a lot more uh, exciting. Hey, lady commentator, do you play? <laughs> Who commentates pool that doesn't play? It's a weird question. Of course I do. Jaden, I can't. I just can't understand what you want me to do. Okay. Looks like Efren broke. And he left Manny a really long shot and not a great angle on the one ball. Oh yeah, cable is almost frozen the rail. Oh, you can't hear anything. How about this? Check, check, check. Oh, no, I can hear you now. I can't, I can't hear anything inside. Can you? Yeah. You're saying can't hear anything. Oh, you're back. Okay, good. Oh, there's my match. I just got called for my match, so I'm off. I'm sure we'll have somebody else sit down and visit. I'll be back later to commentate. Oh, great shot, Manny. Really nice speed. Anyways, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you a little bit later. Are you playing? Okay, good luck. Check, check, check. Sound good. Oh, okay, good. Oh, okay, okay, good. Manny has no clear shot on the 
three ball. Here's the best tournament director of Shut up. <laughs> the West Coast, Marielle Lim. Welcome back, Marielle. Welcome. Thank you. I can't hear anything. You won't be able to. Oh, okay. They have it turned down. But they can hear us, right? Yes. Good afternoon to everybody. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Who's in the booth? He wins the I am Marie Lam. I am the tournament director here at Hard Times for a Thursday night handicap tournament. Regular Sunday, first Sunday, and also one pocket Saturday before the first Sunday tournament. And I'm June, a Filipino pool player from General Santos City. But I live in Project Four Quezon City. No, I live in Fresno now. I've been here for like 15 years. <laughs> I just moved to Fresno from LA. But who cares? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's 7:27. 7:27 your time. 4:27 our time. We're on the West Coast. You're on the East. Corno is five, five to two, Manny Chow. It's the winner's bracket, right? Yes. Did Efren get an easy win on the first match? I I'm not sure what happened there. I, I didn't see anything. Um, the same as a Filipino player. Filipino. What's a Filipino player? A Filipino player is something if you look it up in a dictionary, it, it'll show Efren Reyes's face. <laughs> well, actually, we, we're both Filipinos. <laughs> Miguel and me. It's all Filipino show now. <laughs> and my girlfriend is half Filipino. Oh, no, no. She was born in the Philippines. She grew up here. I want to greet my wife and my kids <laughs> at the same time. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a good boy. <laughs> Who won this, ma uh, this tournament last year? It's Alex, right? The Alex Paglion won the tournament last year. Alex the Lion Paglion. Yeah. In Tagalog, it's vegetable. Gulay means vegetable. Yeah. Pagulayan. We call Pago Lion. Oh, Manny's gonna try to play Pago safe here. He got good safety. Does he get it? Does he get it? He gets it. Efren will kick this. I think he can see it. Oh, I think he can see it. Oh, he can. Yeah, Leslie, Filipino players, anyone from the Philippines? Yes, Efren Reyes, Bustamante, uh, Alex Pagulayan, Jose Parica, Santos Ambajon, and Teo Alhora, Jun Almoide, who else are here? Um, say Bustamante already? Yes. Uh, um, Victor Castro? Uh, Victor Ignacio from... Castro. No, Victor. his, his real last name is Ignacio. Oh, okay. We call him Castro because of Fidel Castro. Oh my <laughs> gosh. His, his real last name is Ignacio. From San Diego. And Marielle Lim. I'm not playing the tournament though. You're not? No. I'm here to support everybody that plays at hard times. My okay. regular players watching them win. This is the helping good out to big safety from Efren. It's 
frozen here. Yeah, these tight packets are good for uh, for Alex and all the Filipinos, of course. Like Mariel Lynn. Maybe after two years or three years, you might be playing the WTBA, huh? No way. Why? I, I don't. Uh uh. Yes, there's a couple of females in the tournament. Not couple. There are like eight of them. No, they're asking if there's any females in the player, uh, females in the tournament. Yeah, there was like eight or more than eight. I think we need a female on the streaming table. That's I think true. we need a female match. Stacy probably. Oh, Angel Paglia is uh, supposed to be here, but. Uh, last Thursday, she put it on her, on her Facebook. She cannot make it. Oh, I, I don't know who she to, is. To her friend or road partner or something. Next match on the streaming table will be Johnny Kang and Rodney the Rocket Morris. Did you know that he's half Filipino? Yeah, yeah, and he says, Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he says he's Hawaiian. Okay, I, I want to hear, I want to know what everybody out there thinks. Because I want to know if, if you were born and raised in Hawaii, does that mean you're Hawaiian? I mean, that's part of the United States, right? So, I'm just asking a question. Were you born there? If I was born in Alaska, would I be like Alaskan? Yeah. If you were born in Texas, I'm Texan. <laughs> But in general, we call it Americans. Yep. We call us Americans. I'm not American. I am Pinoy. Oh, what a scratch on Efren. This might cost him the match. Oh, yeah. The score is 5 2. Malas, 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 Efren. Now Malas in Tagalog. You are Hawaiian? Somebody ask you. I am not Hawaiian. If you guys are asking me if I'm Hawaiian, I am it's not Hawaiian. Oh, it's not for me. And especially since Hawaii is separated from I Korea, am being but still <laughs> part of the United States, so for some reason I'm being asked to sing Puff the Magic Dragon. It might be Jurassic. <laughs> I will not be singing Puff the Magic Dragon. It's not Indian Ian. It's Indian. Simple as Indian. Not Indian Ian. <laughs> Indianan. Indianian. Indianian. Sorry, June does not have his glasses on. <laughs> okay. I can see it clearly. Washingtonian, <laughs> uh, really? Well, Alaska's also are we separated keep, from the are we, Hawaii is separated from the I, No, I totally understand, Alaska. Bob. It was, I, it was like just a total question. I was just wondering. Cool. Puff is a great song. Yes. Uh, we'll get off that subject now. <laughs> so if you watch the show, the Kardashians, is it? The Kardashians. Oh. <laughs> Kardashians. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. I don't want everything to lose. I got the puff. Laugh? Really? <laughs> okay. I got what? Let's do a quick trivia. I want to know who gets the answer first. 
Does anybody know where Manny Chow is from? Be quiet, June. Okay, okay. I want to know if anybody out there knows where Manny Chow is from. Okay. China. Oh, Chicago, you got it. It's not a Chinese. His last name sounds like China. Right? Chow. Chow? But Actually, that's one of my friend's name. My friend's name is Chow. He's Mexican. He's Peruvian, right? Peruvian. Oh, okay. We used to play together in Chicago. A Chris Billiards, a Green Room. I lived in Chicago for four, five years. He's a little tall for Peru. He said he was drinking goat milk. Lima. No, I'm kidding, guys. I'm just kidding, guys. Do not quote me. No, Chicago. Chicago, yep. And that makes it 6-2 for Manny Chow. 6-2 Manny Chow. And He's now, He's on the hill. Efren is going to be waking up and throwing them blows. Unless Manny Chow shoots, uh, like, breaks the nine ball in, right? He's way too tall for Peruvian. Maybe he's mixed. I, I don't know. I. Yeah, he's playing well, and in spite of those pockets are so tight, he's playing well. He's playing well. Efren's a little tired right now. That's what's wrong with Efren. Yeah, he's going home to the Philippines on the 7th. That would be on Tuesday. And Francisco Bustamante will be leaving behind for the Reno tournament next week. It's a winter side, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I want to say goodbye now. Efren needs more excuses? Hmm. Would you like for me to tell him that you want to play against him? Who? Who? Efren? Well, the way he plays now, I might beat him. <laughs> but I'm, in, I'm sitting in the winner's spot. Oh, he's still my idol. Everybody's idol. He don't need more excuses. <laughs> just getting the bad rolls. Sure, yeah, right. Yeah, he got no chance. He's not getting a chance to shoot. Score right now is 6-2, to two, Manny Chow. Okay, thank you. I'm playing another... Get up. Oh, please. Yeah, I'll stay. Uh, I'll finish this match. Oh, he's trying to... Trying a combination to the nine ball. And he missed it. Totally missed it. Do some magic now, Efren. If this is one pocket, <laughs> he already wins it. There again, the nine ball. Efren's just laughing it off. We can interview him after that. If he wants to be interviewed, yes, we can interview Efren Reyes after. What's going on with this game?
was trying to bring the cue ball right in the middle of four balls and three balls. Is that a 3-9 combo three. I'm seeing right now? That's right. Right there. Ooh. Trying to carry him. Oh, that's a good safety. What a control of the ball. Right? <laughs> Look at that. Manny Chow is always eating, probably. Huh? <laughs> Chow. It's Chow. <laughs> Chow King. It's a Filipino restaurant, right? Chow. <laughs> Manny Chow. Oh, corny, corny. Oh, what a scratch. Yes. This is a chance for Efren. Hopefully, si Kuya magigising na, tapos mag run out na. Kailangan niya mag catch up eh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's for the side, and then four balls should be on the corner, and maybe a carom on the nine ball. That's what I'm thinking. The five ball goes through? Five ball goes through, right? Yeah. Look at that. Anong nangyari sa laro mo, Idol Champ? Can I interview him after this match on the street? Uh, yeah. And Manny Chow takes it. Right now, all right, okay, okay, maybe next time. Seven, 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 two. Okay. Uh, goodbye, everybody. Thanks for giving me a chance to. Sorry, G. Yeah, I'll be right back. So I'll be maybe tomorrow or tonight. Thank you. I'm gonna go on with Mary for a minute. Manny Chow takes it, and up next on the streaming table is Johnny Kang versus Rodney Morris. Once again, that's Johnny Kang versus Rodney the Rocket Morris. This is the winner side match. We're all streaming the winner side match right now. Um, here we go. This should be good. All right, guys. Have a good afternoon. I am off. Time to get my late, late, late lunch.